Alrighty, I have a, a construction update for you guys today, and I have potential tea brewing at Canada's Wonderland. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly what these things are for, um, but I'll talk about what I think they are and what they could be for in today's video, because this is getting really interesting for 2024, like really interesting. Um, that being said, Snoopy's Racing Railway might be completed tomorrow on Tuesday. Um, the support columns are up for the remainder of the track. Um, so track installation could be, you know, super easy with the warm weather. And the foundation for that launch shed building is in, as you can see over there. Um, and yeah, they're pre-building the roofs over in the parking lot, which I think I do have in this video at some point um, for these uh, launch and theming buildings for Snoopy's Racing Railway. So that's really interesting. I'm kind of excited because... This is a really good week weather-wise, and Wonderland's going to take full advantage of that, and the construction company as well. So even when we head on over to Tundra Twister in a second, you're going to see that they are, like, not playing around when it comes to, like, getting things done. It's almost like every day a part of the ride gets finished. So I'm really excited because that means we could potentially see training um, next week sometime or testing sometime next week. So here's the raising and lowering platform for Tundra Twister. This is how you will board um, the ride and how it will lower so the ride can begin its cycle without you hitting your feet on the boarding platform. Um, so there, they I left at 5.30 and they were still working on it. So again, when I go and fly tomorrow, we could see a lot more stuff occurring. Um, again, I'm really excited. There's when we when you look at the parking lot, there's not much left. Um, but I really enjoy the color choice for Tundra Twister, and I actually think that like auburn red or like that rustic red complements the green supports of Yukon really well. Don't ask me. That's a really weird thing, but like I just. I just, they, Yukon and Tundra Twister just complement each other so well in every aspect. Um, I wanted to show you guys a little more infrastructure work that Wonderland is working on. Again, you're going to see this. Wonderland is really working on their infrastructure to get ready for future additions. So pay attention because it's a lot of electrical and a lot of plumbing. Um, with that being said, uh, Leviathan's third train is not on the track still. Um, and the, uh, the ride sign is still not back in place. Um, here is a shot of the parking lot with those roofing uh, structures that I was talking about and the gondolas and the little bit of track remaining for Snoopy's Racing Railway. Now let's get to the T. So over here um, in the behemoth area, this I do know, this is what I'm going to guess is structure for some haunt mazes. So these are what you would call like semi-permanent, um, almost like tubular, like structural I don't know the correct word for it. Surrey was explaining it to me. But these would be for like a permanent structure, essentially. And we know that Wonderland is going to be building some haunt mazes. And if you look in Kingswood, there's a lot of like what you would see as like haunt sidewalling stored in Kingswood as well. So my prediction is you'll see one or two haunt mazes built in Kingswood. It's a, a perfect area to house some haunt mazes. So uh, I definitely foresee that happening. All right, and then what we have here is what looks like building structure pieces and an HVAC unit um, or HVAC units. Um, so we're not, again, I can't confirm that to be 100% true. It is under tarp, um, but them protecting it under tarp also says that this is probably for interior use. Um, so let's pretend or assume that this is an HVAC unit and interior um, stuff for a building. Uh, one could assume that they're going to build another almost like big restaurant building or upgrade a current big restaurant building um, or refurbish action theater for a dark ride in 2024 or for the mountain basement uh, if they're going to refurbish or upgrade and insert um, some of this stuff into the mountain for a future attraction as well. So those are a few things that this could be if it is HVAC units. Um, there are signs of rebar cages as well and plumbing pipes in the same area here that would suggest that this could be for a new building. Um, but again, right now with the amount of projects that Wonderland has going on over the next like three to five years, it's really hard to predict what this could actually end up being for. So we're going to keep an eye on this as it's really interesting. I just wanted to update you guys. Anyways, thanks so much for watching today's video um, and enjoying Tundra Twister's uh, construction updates. I really appreciate the positive 
of comments that the videos have been getting in the comment section. Um, but yeah, thanks so much, guys. Hopefully you had an amazing long weekend um, and enjoy your first day back or second day back to work, depending on where you work or what you do or go to school. <laughs> All right. Have a good one, guys. Bye.